You are now unboxing with the boys. Hello and welcome to another episode of Unboxing with the Boys. I'm Brent and with me is Adam Rogers. This time. This time. This time. So So what do we got today, Adam? Well, today we're unboxing our a, our HDMI matrixes. This Ooh. is really exciting because we're new. They're brand new. Uh, they they are in stock at this point in time. Uh, call up your rep uh, here if uh, or your distributor and find out if they're in stock for you and when you're watching this. Um, but uh, we're really excited to show them off. So let's go. And ahead and by the way, they're so new, we did just have to grab boxes right out of the first package. Yep. So please don't judge all my boxes on the ones that have been through our shop and have already been abused. <laughs> yeah. I actually... However, they are beautiful boxes. The artwork's fantastic. They did. On those. Yeah. And, and I, I want to give a shout out to Stuart. He came up with this idea. Yeah. That's yep. a great idea. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, kudos to him real on that. Quick so, before you uh, okay. open it. You'll see all the necessary information for who it is, what it is, where it is, right. on the back and the side. Right. So let's open it up, young man. All right. Now, he's going to do the opening because it requires dexterity, and I'm old. So on the inside here, we've got some nice uh, styrofoam packaging. Ooh, Keeps everything nice supply. and secure. Yep, we've got the power supply there. And it's the really nice soft foam, so it's not going to get beat up in shipping. And we've got our uh, instruction manual there. And if you'll get rid of that. We'll go ahead and get this opened up here. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. All right, what's way, that? That is the instruction manual, which is very complete. Now, Adam did this manual, and there's a ton of information in here. And we don't use really tacky drawings. We actually have pictures of all the screens so you can see what it is, how it works. This is and also available on the website, so definitely yes, check that is. out as well. So, so. if you want to see it on your iPad, iPhone, or Android device, it's readily available. Right. Including all the commands for IP and serial. That's right. So we'll take off the styrofoam cover for that. Uh, one last thing before we jump into the matrix itself, we do have the power supply here. Uh, it does vary from matrix to matrix. This one here uses a 12 volt power supply. Um, but inside this box, we also have the remote that comes with it. And you'll notice also that it actually comes with an IR piece as well as a grounding wire. So you can actually ground this directly into the rack. And if you saw our grounding 101 tutorial, you will know that grounding is good and important. It's good and important. Uh, inside here, we've got the 12 volt power supply. We'll get that box out of here. And by the way, why do some of them have different power supplies? Uh, because some of them have HD base T. Yes, they do. And some of them don't. Exactly. So this one does not have HD base T. This is a quick switching uh, matrix. So you'll see here on the front of it, we have the IRI. We have a little window here. To Which is to in the manual the, for yep. when you're setting up, so you can see the different settings on that screen. Yes, we have our and input. it's very easy to read. Exactly. We have our input and our output buttons here, so you can actually switch that around. Uh, if you read through the instructions, you can also do some neat things with it. You can hold down three and four uh, on the inputs or the outputs. Uh, and it will show you some information on here. And again, that's inside the manual. Um, we have our proprietary USB and firmware update port here on the front as well. And updates do happen. Right. Now, you'll also notice that this comes with the rack ears pre-installed. <laughs> what it comes down to is, is having the rack ears pre-installed is nice because these are more than likely going to wind up in a rack in more cases than not. So we decided that, well, let's go ahead and put the rack ears on there. That way, they, we can take out the box and put it right And it about five minutes on a job site. Exactly. So we'll flip it over here to the back side. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do on that. Let me put uh, this down so you can set it on it and we don't have to worry about scratching anything. There we go. So on the back side here, we have all of our different inputs. We have all of our outputs. We have our audio breakouts. So all of our matrices have the ability to have a digital audio output as well as an analog audio output breakout at the matrix itself. Now, the audio, does it track input or output? Both, either Isn't or. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, so you can do either track this, you can track the, out, you know, the inputs or the outputs. You also have the ability to manually set the output. So treat it as a matrix. However you want it to be, exactly. Um, we have web control, which there are control for Crestron. Uh, Savant is on its way at the time of this recording. Uh, drivers and a couple other drivers that are pre-created. You can find those on our website as well. We have RS-232 and IR input on the back as well, so, so you have a nice clean front. So tremendous amounts of flexibility on this unit for control. Very much so. And of course, you saw that grounding wire. We have the grounding point here on the back. Brent, if you want to grab the extra I one do. over there, I'm going to set this one here off to the side. Okay, so we'll this you. is an HD base T unit. Now, obviously it is larger. Much larger. So with the HD base T unit, you'll notice here, we have the ability to do mirrored outputs. We can either have an HD base T output 
or we can do an HDMI, or both at the same time. We have that ability now with these matrices. All eight outputs can be mirrored uh, from either the HDBase-C output or the HDMI. A couple other things to note on this is one, we are now a 48 volt power supply, so you can properly support the POC for HDBase-T. Right. We've got IR input, so you can put an IR receiver at the HDBase-T receiver right. at the display and send IR commands back. And the bigger change is you've also got a three-port plug in the back for your serial. That's right. And the, uh, the HDBase-T receivers actually have the serial bills onto them as well, as well as they have the audio breakout for analog left and right at the HDBase-T receiver as well. Now, it is important to know that the HDBase-T receivers are sold separately from the matrix units. Correct. They don't come as a kit, so however many you need is however many you're going to order for that. So we have four uh, matrices. We have the 8x8, which is the quick switch, the CS88M. We have the CS44M, which is the same as the 8x8. However, it only has four inputs and four outputs. Uh, so we, same chassis size, just fewer ports. Correct. Then we also have the CS88MHD BTS. That is the 8x8 which HD base T matrix. Uh, and then, of course, we have the 4x4 four four HD base T matrix, which is the CS. Same idea, just less ports on it. Correct. And you still keep the IR inputs yep. and the IR outputs. Correct. So you can control your source devices. So, guys, definitely call into your reps, ask them if these are available for you. Uh, uh, call into them, find out about them. We're really excited about them. We have a lot of support and a lot of abilities with them. One of the biggest things that we're excited about is these actually have the hot plug interrupt built into them as well. Uh, Which is a phenomenal feature allowing you to deal with issues between 4K HDR and non 4K HDR sources that require a hot plug reset to properly sync. Right. So, guys, this has been another episode of Unboxing with the Boys. I'm Adam Rogers. I'm Brent. And thank you. Thank you.